What's up guys? Today's video, we are doing a Culver's mukbang for two reasons. The first one is that I have not had Culver's in almost four months and the sound of a smashed butter burger just sounds so amazing right now. I've just been really craving some Culver's. And then two, they actually just built this new location that is a lot closer to me than the one that I usually go to in previous videos. So this Culver's was only 20 minutes away which is not bad at all the last one was 35 minutes away so that 15 minutes makes a big difference let me tell you but this one is packed like there's a bunch of tables outside here and there is so many people and then to actually pick up your food there was so many cars so I was like wow okay we are ordering now Pull up my order. Thank you for choosing Culver's. One second. Okay, no problem. All right. Thank you for choosing Culver's. Sorry about the wait. Oh no, that's okay. Could I do the single Culver's deluxe combo with onion rings? Onion ring. All right. What would you like for the drink? I'll do a medium Coke Zero. All right. Is that gonna be it for you today? No. Could I also do the single Culver's bacon deluxe? Just the sandwich. All right. And then, can I do pretzel bites with cheese sauce? All right. And the mashed potatoes and gravy? All right. And can I do a country French sauce? And that's going to be it. Say it again for me. It's the country French dipping sauce. One second. Okay. Can you say it again for me, ma'am? What type of sauce? It's, it says it's French. Country French. If you guys don't have it, I'll just do a ranch. Okay, I'm sorry, man. We do not have the you said ranch, though, right? Yeah. All right. And yeah, that's gonna be it. All right. Can I get the name for that order? Daisy. All right. Your total is twenty-two ninety-five at the window. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, twenty-two ninety-five. That is not bad for all the food that I got. Dang. Can you guys see all the people here? Oh no, I don't think you can. I'm trying to show y'all. Can y'all see all the people out there? <laughs> there is so many people here. Okay. Looks like they're... How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Thank you. Um, it's a Camry TRD. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's your day going? We just got here. How long ago did y'all open this location? They said this one's been open for three months. Oh, three months? Yeah. yeah, I used to go to the one in Winston, but I live in Greensboro, so it was a little bit further. But I can see it's busy. Yeah, real busy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a wonderful day. And then just pull Go up. Straight around and the food right outside. Gotcha, thank you. You're okay, so I guess I park over here okay i think i wait right here so wow my hair looks so bad what is going on i don't know what's going on with my hair today but it looks so bad okay let me just try and not look at it because if i look at it i'm just gonna be like girl what did you do what happened here okay well i guess i'm gonna wait on my food and i will see you guys once we secure the bag Yes. Thank you so much. So oh, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, she was so sweet. She called me pretty. Wow. We love that. Little sweetheart. Okay, let me find parking. This place is so packed. I don't know if I can fit in any of these spots. And I gotta make sure I get good lighting. But all the spots with the good lighting is taken, so that's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, let me go this way. I'll be back. All right, found some good parking, and we have secured our Culver's bag. So let's go ahead and pop everything out of here. Let's see what we got. Okay, one of these sandwiches is for Gabe, so let me figure out which one that is. Okay, I believe this one's mine. 
Ooh, okay, here is our pretzel cheese bites. These look so amazing. And then, of course, we got our cheese sauce. We got our ranch. On the website, it said that they had this country French sauce for dipping, and that's what I really wanted, but I guess they didn't have it at that location. I wanted it for my onion rings, but the ranch will do fine. And then we have our onion rings. Oh, these look so good. Onion ring a ding ding, baby. <laughs> that's what the packaging says. I love it. These look super tasty. Then we got, what is this? Oh yeah, mashed potatoes and gravy. So I've never tried their mashed potatoes and gravy before and I was really curious to try it. I was gonna get their broccoli, but I decided to go with the mashed potatoes and gravy. Their gravy is a really interesting color. It's not quite a dark brown gravy, but it's not a white gravy either. So that's very interesting. What should I dive into first? I think I wanna try their mashed potatoes and gravy first because like I said, I'm really curious to see how it is. They didn't give me a spoon, so that's why I'm using a fork. I just had a fork in my car. <laughs> so it will be fine though. Okay. Oh, their mashed potatoes and gravy is a very interesting consistency. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've never seen mashed potatoes and gravy like that before. Hmm. Do I like these or not? Okay. These are really interesting. They're definitely not as good as KFC. I mean, <laughs> these ain't got smack on KFC's mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't know how I feel. Okay. Anything I've ever tried at Culver's has been amazing. So don't think that this reflects my opinion on Culver's in general because I love Culver's. But these mashed potatoes and gravy are not my favorite. I'd probably give these a five out of 10. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about those. I also haven't tried their onion rings before. So let's give these a try because I love me some onion rings. Mmm. Oh, the onion rings are good. These are really good. It's like almost a peace sign. If it would have had one right here. Well, I'm gonna be like a steering wheel. <laughs> Okay, let's try the onion ring with the cheese sauce. Hmm. Oh, these are good in the cheese sauce. Sorry, I got my windows open because it's so nice and breezy out, but if it's a bit noisy, that's why. Also, they have Coke Zero. I was so excited when they had Coke Zero. So Diet Coke is good, sometimes. Diet Coke is a hit or miss, depending on where you get it from. But Coke Zero is always good. Oh my gosh. I love Coke Zero. I definitely prefer this over Diet Coke. Oh, that's so good. It's weird because it's less carbonated than Diet Coke. And usually I prefer that like super extra carbonation of the Diet Coke. But something about Coke Zero, I just love it. Okay, time for a pretzel bite. Mmm, yes. These are so salty, but they're so good. 
so daggone good. Super tasty. There's actually a Dairy Queen right down the road from here. Oh, actually, I can see it. Dairy Queen's that way. It's like there's a McDonald's and then there's Dairy Queen. I really want to do another Dairy Queen mukbang. I've only done one on my channel, and that was whenever I tried their food for the first time. So if you guys would wanna see a Dairy Queen mukbang, drop a thumbs up on this one and let me know in the comment section that you guys wanna see some Dairy Queen. Cause Dairy Queen sounds good right now, even though I'm having Culver's. Okay, time to try our burger. Let's see how it is today from this location. I will say so far, the location that I usually go to, well, that I've gone to on my channel before, is a lot better than this one. But, I mean, I guess technically the food's all the same. Hmm. It's delicious, don't get me wrong, but the patty, they're like way overcooked. Dang. This location's kind of let me down. Yeah, the patty's really tough. Really tough to chew. Mmm. That's kind of disappointing. I guess since the other one has been around a lot longer, maybe they just have better knowledge of the menu and how to cook it. Let's see inside of it. Mm, it's okay. These pretzel bites are 10 10 though. I cannot get enough of these. These are so good. There is a lot of nice apartments around here. I still have no clue where Gabe and I are gonna go when our lease ends. I think we're going back to Salt Lake City, not to move out there, but I think we're gonna take another vacation out there. Which I know sounds really repetitive because <laughs> we've already been to Salt Lake City and it's not like somewhere I guess that a lot of people would travel to multiple times, but we both loved Salt Lake City so much and we both really wanna go back out there. So I think we're gonna take another trip there. But I don't think I'm gonna actually move out to Salt Lake City, at least not this year. I really wanted to, it's just so much work to move. And it's super expensive because you have to pay for a truck, obviously, to haul all of your stuff over halfway across the country. <laughs> So, I don't know. I would love to move out of Greensboro though. Nothing against Greensboro where I currently live. It would just be nice to go somewhere else. Oh yeah, so I also wanted to give you guys an update on my body odor situation that we had discussed before <laughs> a lot of you guys actually gave me some pretty good tips and I did try some of them out I haven't tried everything out just because there was a lot but a lot of you guys suggested using antibacterial soap on my armpits so I've been using the dial gold bar soap which is antibacterial 
I use that on my armpits first to like take off to remove all the scents and the deodorant that I had on before. Then I use my regular body soap, which is the Dove. It's just like the Dove body wash. I get the pampering kind. Then after that, I use, I think it's the Dove body polish. It's like a Dove exfoliating body polish. So I use that all over along with like all my armpits. Shoot. The wind is blowing all this stuff down. Mm. okay <laughs> then once I do that sometimes I don't always do this but I use this Olay body conditioner that was recommended by someone along with the body polish by Dove but I think the biggest game changer was using the antibacterial soap. That antibacterial soap is so good. Um, it keeps all the odor away. I also switched deodorant. So now I'm using the Degree Spray. It's the Degree 72 hour hold spray and just spray it on and that's been really good so so far so good it's a very long routine in the shower I've definitely tacked on an extra five minutes on my shower which is tough because we always run out of hot water whenever we shower it's worth it though because I haven't noticed any smells on my armpits since, since doing all of this. So that's good. But I know a lot of you guys commented and said that you struggle with the same thing. So definitely try out those products. pretzel bite <laughs> a lot to chew I'll actually link everything down below so if you guys are curious in these hygiene products most of them you can get on Amazon I'll just put them down in the description if you're if you're interested in checking it out but the biggest thing for me was that antibacterial soap so definitely recommend using that before your body wash if you struggle with armpit odor <laughs> like I was it's a big onion ring <laughs> I feel so bad about this burger. I hate whenever I eat something and I'm not like in love with it because I don't want you guys to think I'm like super picky or I'm talking down on them, but that burger was just way overcooked. Okay, let's eat one more of these little salty pretzel bites. <laughs> They're super salty, but something about them I just can't get enough of. These are incredible. Mmm. Man. Those freaking slap. Do all places that have Coke products have Coke Zero? Like if I were to go to McDonald's, would they have Coke Zero? Because in previous videos when I've gotten Diet Coke, 
It's just because I didn't think they had Coke Zero. But I'd imagine if they have, well, I don't know. When I worked at McDonald's, we definitely did not have Coke Zero. So I guess it just depends on their machine. Mm. If you guys could see my lap, it's like, it's a disaster on my lap right now, but it's all good. Okay, let's eat one more of these with the ranch. I don't really utilize my ranch. Mm. I'm quite stuffed. Okay, so... Overall, it was still delicious. Those pretzel bites, if you come to Culver's and you don't get the pretzel bites, what are you doing? <laughs> I could never. Gotta get those. But yes, so let me know if you guys want to see a Dairy Queen mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me eat some Culver's. I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.